Hello, I am Jim Evans, President of Lindenwood University. I am proud to let you know today that Lindenwood University has been approved to enter candidacy for NCAA Division II. Many changes have occurred over the past year at Lindenwood, particularly in our athletics department. We are excited to begin moving toward full membership in the NCAA, and we hope you will join us on that journey. Our football team is gunning for a sellout of the first game on September 2, and Coach Ross and the team will not be satisfied this season with anything less than another trip to the national championship game in Rome, Georgia. Our men's basketball team is poised for a run at the national tournament with all sorts of exciting homegrown talent. And we have a new women's basketball coach who is sure to help put this team on the national radar screen. Despite moving to the NCAA, one thing about Lindenwood will not change, and that is our commitment to students. We would not be having this incredible athletic success if not for the strong and thriving academic program at Lindenwood. We have the finest faculty in the country. Our professors provide personal attention that students remember and appreciate. I'm going to turn this over to one of our fine young graduates, Mr. Mike Morgan, who is with Athletics Director John Creer. Mike? Thanks, President Evans. I am visiting today with Athletic Director John Creer about Lindenwood's move to the NCAA. First of all, John, congratulations. Thank you. This is a very exciting day for Linwood. Well, now that Linwood has been accepted to go into NCAA, uh, what is next? Is the Linwood looking at a conference to move into? Yes, uh, we're, we're looking at the MIAA. Uh, we uh, plan to make uh, application immediately. Now that Linwood has been accepted into the NCAA, tell us a little bit about the process from here moving on. Well, uh, as I stated, our first, first process is to uh, make that application for the MIAA. Uh, we will be, uh, during the course of the year, we will be responding to uh, uh, NCAA uh, requests for information, uh, procedures that they want us to uh, accomplish during the, the course of the coming year. Uh, uh, we will also uh, be looking at uh, how do we uh, transition from Lindwood grants to athletic scholarships, uh, recruiting. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that are in store for us this, this year that, that we're going to have to accomplish to show the NCAA that we're fully compliant and, re and ready to go. What has been the response from the coaches and the student athletes here on the campus? All of our coaches are on board. They're all starting to get excited about this and uh, uh, I think they're really looking forward to, to uh, what, what uh, membership in the NCAA and the MIAA is going to bring to them. When it's all said and done, what kind of effect uh, will this have on Lindenwood? Well, you know, this is not just an athletic move. Right. Uh, this is, this is uh, something that's going to affect Lindenwood as an institution. And uh, we, ve we feel very strongly that the, uh, the recognition of Lindenwood as an NCAA II, uh, Division II member uh, not only helps us in recruiting athletes here, it's going to help with recruiting general students because uh, just that recognition of being uh, affiliated with NCAA all of a sudden is, becomes attractive to the general student. And then the more, the more uh, successful we are ac athletically, that's going to impact on uh, uh, general students who want to associate with that, that good athletic program too. Well, it's been a long process. Everybody here on the campus knows it's been a long process going on for the last year or so. Tell us a little bit about what's gone on over this past year here at Lindenwood. Well, we started a year ago, uh, this process, when the president asked us to uh, create a, a committee to, to look at the, the feasibility of uh, moving from NEI to NCAA. And uh, we initially started uh, with this co committee, which represented uh, some faculty, represented uh, athletic staff, it represented alumni. And uh, we actually uh, uh, formed two committees, one to look at uh, uh, Division I, one to look at Division II. Uh, we soon realized in, uh, that, that Division I was, was not where we are headed right now, and that Division II uh, really was, was the, uh, the uh, division that we, we want to concentrate on. And uh, we've now been uh, accepted by the NCAA, so uh, we're moving forward at this point and, and uh, whatever is needed to uh, accomplish full, complete membership and w where we can compete postseason, uh, we're going to expedite as fast as we can. With all that work already been done, it's been tireless, everybody's worked hard, what's left to do for Lindenwood? 
Well, the, the, the NCAA is going to come in, and, uh, onto the campus and they're going to uh, investigate us and, and they're going to see, well, how, how do you do this and how do you do that and, and is it the way that we require it uh, for the NCAA? We need to be able to show the NCAA that we are fully in compliance with what they expect us to, to be as a, a member institution. A move to the NCAA affects more than athletics here on the campus. Uh, how has the entire institution as a whole gotten behind uh, this effort? Well, we, we see it from the, the, the faculty seem to have gotten behind it. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, students, general students that we're hearing, uh, they they're seem to be excited about it. I think there's a whole mood of, you know, this is, this is taking Lindenwood into a, a, a new direction. Uh, and, and I think it's, it's exciting for everybody as they start to look at uh, all the potential. I think this is also going to be uh, uh, exciting for the community. I think the community is really going to buy into this once they, they start seeing these teams come in. And so I, I, I think this is going to be a positive move uh, for our athletic program. It's going to be a positive move for the university as a whole and for the community at large. As you talk about those schools that are going to be coming in here to Lindenwood um, and as NCAA Division II as a whole, how does Lindenwood's facilities stack up against those other schools? Uh, for the most part, uh, we, we have excellent facilities that uh, uh, probably uh, a number of Division II schools would be very envious of. You talked about just a little bit, but does the institution have any new plans of uh, any new facilities? Well, we, we definitely know that uh, uh, we've got to address uh, football and, and locker rooms and uh, uh, office space and so forth. And that carries over to the rest of our program, too. We are uh, looking at a, a, a building an additional athletic complex that uh, will uh, meet the football needs. It will also meet the needs of uh, many of our other programs and uh, provide office space, provide meeting space, workout space, uh, uh, athletic training space, and so forth. Uh, th there are some definite needs that we need to address. Well, John, it's been a long process. Congratulations on making the move to the NCAA. And, uh, Thank you, Mike. And that about wrap it up. Make sure to join us on September 2nd for Linwood Home Opener in Football. We're hoping for a sellout on September 2nd. And go Lions!